For a long time we've been able to make buildings that look good. We've been able to make cars that look very real. The level of realism goes up and up and up. With the previous kind of technologies that you'd use, like facial motion capture, we didn't really ever feel that, that would, we could pull that off. You, you could never really tell whether someone was lying or not. With this technology, what you see is what you get. I'm always happy to help the LAPD. We started research on it about five years ago. Back then, only research groups were really doing it, this kind of um, 3D mesh generation from optical cameras. We thought that there might be some application for what we were doing, and this story is a detective story, so the believability of the actor's performance is key to gameplay. That's one of the key strengths of our system. We can actually see all the subtle features that animation, traditional ones, just can't do. Cole Phelps, traffic. What have we got? It's really acting a scene um, in, in two parts, the motion capture and then the motion scanning. The motion capture captures all the body movements and where people look, so it gives you all of the eye lines. Regulator valve, good find. Then we come move over to this studio where an actor would typically go into makeup in the morning and then have their hair done in a 1940s hairstyle. Then they'd come into a room and sit in a seat behind me and what the rig does is capture a volume around them. You've got cameras not only around, but also looking upward and downward as well. So any kind of movement is going to cut out some of the information. And they deliver their lines and as they talk, they get processed and turned in 3D. And action. So the guys' names that I've been seeing doing the repairs on the heaters, they're fully licensed and accredited. We go from 2D videos to 3D meshes. I think you're lying, Rasik. I think. Some of your men aren't fully licensed. To compress versions for the game. I think some of your men aren't fully licensed. You're desperate to cover your sales. The level of detail is just so high that they're just like the real person in your life. You're gonna lose your wife and probably end up in the big house. I hope she was worth it. Being in the depth analysis room is a process that most people have never experienced. It's such a new technology. It's a constant close-up is what it is, but it's a close-up from 360 degrees. There's something pretty special about knowing that, that you will be recreated, but in another type of form. I saw myself today. Blow it off, Cole. These artsy-fartsy types always get a little flighty. It's me. LAPD, drop the weapon! Oh, you think I'm some kind of nut job? What proof have you got? A big theme of this game is dishonesty and to detect when people are lying. You couldn't have done that in the past. Why are you lying to me, Varley? The better you are at reading people, the more things it'll reveal and the story goes different ways if you do that. The only way you're going to get rid of me is to give me an answer. You're out of your depths here, detective, and you're asking the wrong questions of the wrong people. Having this realism really helps. You're literally talking to that person and then seeing how they behave by asking questions. Why did you kill Mrs. Terrelson? I have no recollection of the people I have killed. So what if I took a look around that car? You can't be accusing me of nothing. You've got the wrong guy. 